Hi, Thomas Miller here. I wanted to just tell you a cool story of how the universe works. This is how I came to contact Fred Dodson and how all these audiobooks came about. It was back in 2013 and I was researching on parallel realities. And there was this book on Amazon that somebody left a comment that said, well, this book is okay, but if you really want a great book on this topic, read Parallel Universes of Self by Fred Dodson. So I clicked over there and I was instantly captivated by what I saw. So I got the book and digested that. And you know, just think about if that guy had not have left that comment, and if I had not looked at that book, I never would have contacted this man and done over 20 audiobooks with him over the last five years. So I was, next book I got of his was Levels of Energy, and oh, Levels of Energy will change your whole paradigm of everything. So while reading Levels of Energy, one day I was getting ready to go on a bicycle ride, and I was filling up my water bottles at the sink, and I literally, almost as clearly as we're talking here, I got, it wasn't an audible voice, but it was close, and it said, email Fred Dodson about doing his audiobooks. Well, I set the water bottles down. I delayed the bicycle ride probably over an hour looking up Fred, how to contact him, and, and getting a little sample audiobook read together and kind of explaining what I was thinking. And the next morning, he had responded with what he says was an equally positive intuition to say yes to this email. Popular authors get a lot of emails and just following the universe and following the prompt, Fred said yes. So that was over 20 audiobooks ago and over five years ago. Well, we got to the last one. The whole library was complete. And there was a kind of like a hole, a void in my in my in my daily routine because I wasn't waking up and spending the first couple of hours of the day with Fred, and that was so powerful. So I asked him, you know, we've come a long ways in five years, and you learn a lot, and things grow and get better. So I suggested I could improve the first book that we did, Reality Creation Technique. I said, I could do this better. So he gave me a thumbs up, and I started recording Reality Creation Technique anew, the 2018 version. So here it is from the very beginning. This is the new reality creation technique. This technique is a psycho-spiritual tool that will support you in creating the reality you prefer in life. This technique is the answer to the frequently asked question, if I practice only one technique for the rest of my life, what should it be? As a life coach, I often recommend my students take just one practice, one method, one technique, one style, and concentrate on it until it begins creating results. What matters more than the specific method is the full commitment of the student to learn one thing properly instead of nervously jumping from one tool to another, one book to another, one philosophy to another. The reality creation technique was created for those who are looking for one tool that covers it all, the practical and the mystical, the peace and prosperity. The reality creation technique is extremely simple and consists of two steps. State your intention. Release your counter intentions. Alternate between one and two until there are no counter intentions, meaning the reality you intended to manifest has manifested. That's all, folks. Thanks for listening. <laughs> but seriously, state your intention. Except that 99.9% .9 of humanity can't conceive that simplicity, not to mention believe in it, which is why the rest of this audiobook will be spent explaining the technique, detailing it, and giving examples and variations. Here are some examples for intentions one could state. I had the best vacation of my life. I allow myself to make $15,000 a month with ease. I have a healthy and athletic body. I'm a vibrant and successful lawyer. I win the race on Friday. I find the job that is just right for me. 
I allow myself to find just the right partner this weekend. The wording, I want, is indicative of lack and not permissible. I will is no good either because it projects the preferred reality into the future. I have is good. I am is even better. I decide captures the spirit of an intention and is also highly recommended. I allow is very popular among practitioners of the technique because reality creation is more of an allowing than a forcing. Stick to one of these phrasings for your intentions and you'll be just fine. So look, if you already have reality creation technique on your phone or your tablet or your computer, here's what you do. Just delete the audio files. There's a button there on your app that you can do that and reload them. And then you will have the new updated version. And all of Fred's books are available on freddodsonaudiobooks.com and the samples there will take you over to Audible and you can click away. I'll see you inside Reality Creation Technique, the new version.